Peace chapter 1097. Ginny. It's crazy that we have 1097, bro. 1097. 1097. Let's get to it. Chapter 1097, Ginny. And I don't know. Is something, is something good about uh, reading the chapter, knowing that we don't got... It, it's not a break next week? Cover story. Whoa. This is different because it's a cover story. It's cover art that has Kuma catching salmon. But obviously, it's going to be a Kuma chapter. So it's like a cover request that coincides very well with what's going on in the story. I'm gonna assume this is Ginny as well. And yo, is this canon? Please help me, Kumachi. I've been coming here since your pa was around. It came as a nasty shock when you all went and disappeared on us. Kingdom of Sorbet, South Blue. But it's comforting to know you grew, in, you grew into such a sweet boy. Your parents did a great job. I'm sure they're so proud of you becoming a bona fide clergyman. <laughs> Pastor Bartholomew Kuma. Yo, this dude became a pastor. Ah, what a relief. I feel so much better. Bless you. Me next. My hips are killing me. Now listen. Now listen, Grandma. If I'm going to be taking the pain up out of you, what you going to be taking up out of me? <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Um, but nah, shout out to Kuma for being uh, like a good clergyman, you know? Getting the pain up out of ground. <laughs> All right. Um, we can't thank you enough. God bless your miracle hands. Can't you do this on the weekdays too? Fat chance, Sundays only. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Let's let's clarify something real quick. Ginny was four years older than Kuma. Kuma was like eight, right? So she was 12. So now she's 20, right? I just want to clarify that. How old was he? How old? How old was he? She's 21. Ginny looking right. Ginny looking right. I, Ginny, might have, Ginny might have just catapulted, catapulted to the top 20. I'm not going to lie. She might have just catapulted to the top 20. To tell the truth, we'd love to donate and support our Kumachi. But we've all just been struggling just to meet the celestial tribute recently. I'm sure you've heard about our new king, right? They say King Bakori is a cold-hearted monster. He's hell-bent on paying the tribute, and he doesn't care about whether us old farts are too sick to contribute. If we can't, they'll lock us up. He's the worst. The other day, an acquaintance of mine ended up starving to death in their cell. Can you believe that? That miserly king of ours won't even feed his prisoners. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I probably wouldn't feed my prisoners either. I, 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 I. It depends on how long they're in there. If you're in there for a day, I mean, like a... bro, I'm going to sound like a celestial dragon. Bro, I'm joking. I'm joking. I can get rid of any pain or mild, mild illnesses you need me to. So please visit every week. Thanks so much, Kumachi. Okay, what's this? Wait, what? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Why is he... Wait, 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 wait. When he expels the pain, is this all the pain of the people that he's taking? Oh. My. God. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Does, wait, this... Wait, wait. Does this have to happen? Oh my god, Kuma. Oh my god. How has this character... Oh man, this is awesome. This is... I'm. You know what I'm thinking back to? I'm thinking back to like all the times we've seen Kuma. And every situation we've seen him in. And knowing this is his start. Y'all let me know this real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Then we're going to get back to it. Has there been a group more impactful to the One Piece story? Or rather, let's do this. Is there a group more impactful than the Warlords in, in regards to the story? Because yesterday I was writing a script and I was just looking back at some past arcs. And I was like, yo, 
The warlords carry the fucking story. I'm not. The warlords carry the story. They have no idea you're taking on any pain of theirs, any of their pain, Kumachi. And you keep doing this week after week. It can't be helped. Wow. It can't be helped. If someone doesn't shoulder their burdens, the pain and suffering of theirs just won't disappear. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So if he expels the pain, you know what I'm doing. I'm taking all of these niggas pain from the entire motherfucking village and I'm just gonna casually send it to that muff miserly king here hold that real quick them celestial dragons walking past boom they're not gonna know what the hit them they're not gonna know what hit them he's enduring the pain is this Jesus but if he doesn't expel it to someone else does it just go back to them? It'll be left to fester, retur returning to haunt them. Oh. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey you know what I do as well? I'm in a fight. I'll let that nigga beat my ass. It's kind of like a rouge. I'll let him beat my ass, bro. I can whoop his ass. I just take it. I'm just there taking it, right? I'm just there taking it. Then all of a sudden, I just, he walks away. He thinks he won. Like Bellamy walk away. I just expel it, then I slap my ass, I trans, I fucking teleport, and then boom, I just give them back all the pain that they just gave me, and then I pray for that nigga. More than anything, I'm more than anything, I'm just glad I can do something to help them feel happier. I'm sorry for put putting you through this though. I'll get tougher so you won't have to worry. Yo, low key, this is Kuma. He's low key training. He's low key training. Every single weekend. Every weekend, the pain that he's putting himself through, his endurance and his durability got to be stupid for all the pain that he's endured. Again, this is a weekend job. Let's look at this. Another article about those freedom fighters. They finally issued wanted posters for them after they incited riots in, in several countries. Dragon. He's cool. He's like a hero. One day I want to head out to sea and dedicate my life to saving people too. Then 22 years ago, something major happened. The people, you've kidnapped them. Let them go. Save us, Kumachi. Hey, pastor, didn't you hear about the new law? We're allowed to do whatever we want to you, Southerners. You're planning on enslaving them? I won't let this pass. Why? He's a rebel. We'll no longer be weighed down by all the old fossils in the South. We must cut out the cancer so the fittest of the glorious nation can thrive. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't think he's wrong. <laughs> I, I don't think he's wrong because that's what them niggas didn't want to. If they're not going to follow the rules, right, we're going to cut them off and then that's a lawless land. Do what you want with them niggas, bro. I ain't. That's not me. <laughs> I don't know. You can't keep getting away with it. Wait, this nigga's in jail? How? Did he just... He got a... He had to have gone voluntarily. He had to have gone valent voluntarily. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Whoa, who are these guys? Your majesty, we must flee. As if he would let you escape this... As if, as if V, yeah, okay, 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 okay. As if V would let you escape. This is what you get. You one of these celestial dragon. You make me sick. The king's been overthrown. His slavery laws are no more. Thank goodness I hated what this country was becoming. And so, this mysterious band saved the kingdom of Sorbet from the corruption of the world government. Looks like the man you recommended went on quite the rampage. You're going to love him, dragon. Kuma, Ginny, I see you've gone and gotten yourselves caught. Lucky for you, I was in the neighborhood. No way, big bro. Is that you, Iva-chan? And the man you're with, isn't he? Kuma. If you're still anything like you used to be, how about coming with us, coming with us and changing the world? <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset. Because I feel like we should have gotten more of the revolutionary, more of the revolutionary army before this. They're such a dope group. Oh 
my. Oh my. Sauce! The onset of the Great Pirate Era and the tragedy of O'Hara spurred these free freedom fighters to take up arms. This nigga Dragon got the three star on the motherfucker. <sighs> Against the corrupt regimes of the world, starting numerous insurrections. Count me in two. So I guess Ginny did join as well. It didn't take long for the two pillars of this movement to become three as Dragon and Ivankov recruited Kuma to their cause. This organization would adopt a new name, one that echoed around the world. The Revolutionary Army. Yo, yo, yo. Oh! Huh? I spent some time with the Navy. Unfortunately, I found no justice there. <laughs> and thus another eight years would pass. The sun would continue to rise and set like normal until... 14 years ago, a certain kingdom. You look excited, Jenny san Oh my God. Premium milk. <laughs> Whoa. No. jenny has been captured. The enemy took us by surprise. Please, you, you bum ass nigga. You bum ass niggas. You let him pull up and they whooped all y'all ass and they captured the captain. That means that all y'all niggas got your ass beat and Jenny got captured. You bum ass niggas, bro. How far up did Kuma move into your top characters in One Piece list? Or has he moved? Because he's moved to me. Moved for me. I think he's moved in regards to my favorites as well. He's really close to top 10 because he is phenomenal.